to welcome everybody here today on this happy occasion, not just to celebrate Fiona and Colin's marriage, but to witness their commitment to one another and to wish them the best of happiness in their life together. I'm Gail Duffy, the Registrar for Ellen, and the Registrar General for Scotland has given me hours to carry out civil marriages in Aberdeenshire. We'll begin the ceremony we are uh, reading, and this is a piece that Colin and Fiona have chosen, and Derek Singer, a friend of Fiona's family, is going to read it for us. Today is the day that your eye got to mine. You know the rarest you'll hear in your life. You'll start off the day to a fountain of love and then it is green man and wife. It's a hell new beginning, the start of a journey, with moments to hug dear and treasure. And though you hate times that you can't agree, you can they'll be outweighed with pleasure. You'll have heard plenty of worldies of wisdom before, when the secrets of marriage are spoken. But you can't the answer lies hidden inside, for the bond of true love is unbroken. So you bide happily together as lovers and friends. It's the dawn of a new life for you bed. As you stand there together, we love in your reign for the minute you first put our death. And with luck and your hopes and your dreams can come true, may success find its way to till your hearts. The mom could well bring you the rarest of joys, but the day is the day I think starts. Good luck. Colin and Fiona have chosen a civil ceremony and known the oldest form of marriage we can in Scotland. For all that, its values has been the why the I were. They hinna changed. And marriage should I be founded on trust and understanding. When Fiona and Colin talk in another as man and wife, they are promising to share their lives together for this day on. Afore you, Colin, and you, Fiona, are both joined in marriage, I'm beholden to mind you on the why you'll be bound by the vows you're going to want to mark. According to Scots law, Marriage is a union of one man with one woman that you can enter out of free will with the wish, the hope, and the hail hearted intent that it'll be for life. Now, to minus and fit it is that marks a great marriage, I'll ask Georgia Buchan to come forward and give us another reading that Fiona and Colin have chosen. Marriage is a promise 
while well, hearts are glad to mark. A promise to be tender, to help to give and talk. A marriage is a promise to be kind and understand, to be thoughtful and considerate, to be fair and near demand. A marriage is a promise to share all life together, to fill to be love and meant to be, kept like doing forever. Fiona and Colin, in front of your witnesses, I'll ask you now to mark this declaration as laid down by the law. Will you be facing another? Jane Hans and see your vows staying on the night. Colin, will you say after me? No, I'll call on this folk here about us. No, I'll call on this folk here about us. To give witness. To give witness. That I, Lindsay Colin Wilson. That I, Lindsay Colin Wilson. Tuck you, Fiona James Henderson. Tuck you, Fiona James Henderson. For my lawful greed wife. For my lawful greed wife. To he and to her. To he and to her. Be this day on. Be this day on. Fiona, will you see if I me? No, I'll call on this folk here about us. No, I'll call on this folk here about us. To give witness. To give witness. That I, Fiona James Henderson. That I, Fiona James Henderson. Tuck you, Lindsay Colin Wilson. Tuck you, Lindsay Colin Wilson. For my lawful greed man. For my lawful greed man. To he and to hod. To he and to hod. Be this day on. Be this day on. To seal this union, Colin is going to present Fiona we a ring. And for all that the law does not need this, it's come to be a tradition. The ring was wild to be a symbol of marriage for its sheep. It has no beginning and no end, and that's why it should stand for your unending love for in another. So now, Colin, I'll ask you to put the ring on the third finger of Fiona's left hand and see after me. As I seal to my vow, as a seal to my vow, I'll give you this ring. I'll give you this ring. Let it be a sign of our marriage. Let it be a sign of our marriage. Ah, that I am, I'll give to you. Ah, that I am, I'll give to you. And ah, that I he, I'll share with you. And ah, that I he, I'll share with you. And Fiona, I'll ask you to say after me. As a seal to my vow. As a seal to my vow. I'll wear this ring. I'll wear a string. It'll be a sign over marriage. It'll be a sign over marriage. Ah, that I am. Ah, that I am. I'll give to you an ah. I'll give to you an ah. And ah, that I hear. And ah, that I hear. I'll share with you. I'll share with you. You've made promises to in another, and they've been symbolised with the jamming of hands, the tucking of vows, and the gain and tucking of a ring. So now, with the evidence that's given to me, according to Scots law, I'll gi it'll give me real pleasure to declare that Colin and Fiona are man and wife, and that I would gain the bride a courtly. <laughs> <laughs> Yourselves often and put it was the stock here together. The bones are between you, 
Well, both of your softness, gentleness, and kindness, for two things to the fore. Whenever your feet are scarred or gone through hard times, and this is a threat to your relationship, why it's a threat to our relationships from time to time, mind it by key to fit the right between you, and they just those things that seem wrong. That's why you can ride out the storms when the clouds hide the face of the sun for your face, meaning that even when you can't see for a minute, the sun is eye there, and if both of you will take responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by days of plenty and delight. Thank you, Willie. translations <laughs> after the honeymoon <laughs> and going half and half half to the lifeboat and the other half to, to keep Fiona James happy for <laughs> <laughs> Mum and me were fine pleased when as to I got together Colin's a brave man <laughs> Jane into her mind who's squad <laughs> Them it was here last night, don't care what I mean. <laughs> now Colin's a wheel broke up loan. 
and then the old fashioned boy, he came through the brook and soaked her horn in marriage. <coughs> we bed said, oi. <laughs> <laughs> and you be asked, we'll talk the rest of it as well. Because <laughs> I kind of have fosh bitten her on eBay and I bet you at that time. <laughs> Only why I forced the word. I'm happy to propose the toast to the great man and his wife. Here's to the happiness, the best is there. You're very good. Long may you love Where did that folks go? And now, ladies and gentlemen, lads and lasses and wounds and queens, the man of the moment, Colin, is going to be a response here. So we'll just sit down and listen to what he has to say. <laughs> oh, well. Thank you, John. Yeah, Thank you, like Robbie. Them. And with the mud sharks that's here, it, I must have hoped that I was going to, going to get the war with making a mud shark speech. <laughs> <laughs> and for anybody that's never been to a mud shark binge and doesn't care if it though is, <laughs> it's this. Everybody shouts at you to hug your waist as soon as you open your mouth to speak. <laughs> Sounds like my way. <laughs> but I, I kind of see we're getting the ball with on there this time anyway. And did you hear Robbie's fine wordies about me brain being a brave man? That is fine wordies. No doubt about it. <laughs> but are they other folk? Some of them here, some of them nay. Let's help it Fiona James and me to get to the the day. It wouldn't be fair not to thank them all. I mentioned Robbie. Let me tell you more about him. <laughs> I can tell you, honest, <laughs> that Robbie is before and ever the finest, most honest, honest and upright man I've ever kept. He's a grand place in the bro. <laughs> <laughs> and now him and Vi has deemed me the honour of him and their family. And I just hope I can look after their daughter in the way they would have been To me and mother and father, that's the more there. Colin and Betty, I'll give thanks for helping us with hidden this today. And after all, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> and for all one of our guests, there's some comfy for a while. I'm just glad you could all mark it here and join us today. And one's especially true for them that has come a long way. And there was other folk here that would have wanted to be here, but couldn't. And to them that's here, and to them that's near here, more thanks for me and Fiona James for all the gifts you've been so kind and generous to us. And now we come to the, the right star of the show. This is to my new wife, Fiona James. And I should thank her <laughs> for dear me the honour of marrying me. For all that it was her idea. <laughs> 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 and look what I often say to you and another, I'm glad I'm with you. And look, either of our readers dealt this before, it's the start of a new life for you both. And though the one's true, along the way, there's been a fair money number of new starts. The, the, the first thing of them was a time a lot of focus speared us about. The next Fiona and me first laid in and in and another. And that was at Waterston's bookshop in January 2006. <laughs> and it was a fair meeting, and after all, she didn't buy my Scots language bookie. <laughs> I didn't buy the magazine she was trying to sell me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's near the hill story. Because truth be told, Fiona and me had already been writing to in another hour email for a wee while before, and we'd even spoken over the phone two or three times. So it wasn't just a, a chance meeting. So if the one was the start, the next question is going to be fit's going to be the new life. <laughs> but just time itself is going to tell. You can be sure there's going to be a lot of changes in store for us. And we've even seen some of them over the last year. The, you know, the changes is 
beginning to show itself with a big loop up and the number of insurance claims we've hit the mark. <laughs> <laughs> I showed the mark a lot of mark a lot of the window. Insurers then for the dog turd war. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have been me, <laughs> <coughs> But didn't they hear all the signs are good? For, for one thing, it helps that we both like the same things. We, like if we buy something they like a furniture and folks say, fit in and you chose it. And what I tell them, well, we both chose it. And a lot of the time we chose it separate for each other. So that kind of be bad. That'll change. I'm a paid for it. <laughs> I'll say nothing. <laughs> uh, that's us. But to say another thing that I didn't hear a lot to do with, I'm sure that a good morning was fair team the day with the standard of stationery that we had. Yes. Now let's never forget that that was our few as work. Uh, I did some of the planning and organising for the ceremony of the day, but a lot of that was Fiona's in our. So for marking the day, it's a career success with Fiona, I think. Before I draw the stick close all together, and before, you, before I put my wish to long last, <laughs> other folk I should you think still. Uh, a lot of the time, you wouldn't think you're a registrar. This time it's different. So, although she's not here, I'll offer my thanks to Gail Duthie, for me and Fiona, for sticking our neck out and doing something that uh, nobody had done before. They had a civil wedding ceremony in Marian Tonga. As far as we can, that's not been done before. Uh, thanks and to the ushers, Anthony and Alex, for are they? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> aye, for keeping all in order and confiscating, earth, confiscating all the drink off you. <laughs> I just hope you're minded to search in all of the hearts. <laughs> and near at least, near at all at least, is my thanks to, to Graham, my best man. So, 21 years after, I can buy back the favour. <laughs> And at the very last, let's never forget the two queens that's helped it for you in this wheel. Alexandra and Stephanie were bridesmaids. So before I sit down, I'll ask you to join me in these your glasses and a toast to that help. I'm getting fed up. I've seen ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> lads and lasses, loons and queens. <laughs> Fair enough. I've agreed to do it, so I will do it. And I would just like to say Colin get a good speech here, I know. And last but no means least, we'll get to hear for Graham. And no doubt he'll have some good stories to tell about Colin. Then he was a young rabbi. Very <laughs> 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 Graham. <coughs> For folk that don't ken me, I'm Graham, I'm Colin's brother, and now I can say for the very first time, Fiona's brother in law is real. When my brother told me he was getting married, and told me I was to be the best man, he speared to me that a man speak to Doric. Now I'm near a fine speaker of the Doric like my brother, but I told him it would be a chav, but I would do my best for fit me up in a one day. That's it. I had many questions. What did I do for sick and honour? Had another child tell him no? Had he any friends that would do a better job than I would? And a boon of that, could I say no and still get a free scan? <laughs> so I thought I had better say aye. So here I am. For Stephanie and Alex, thank you for your good wobbly words and for your gifties the other day. Stephanie and Alex are the second most bonny coins here today after Fiona, and you have done an awful for our job helping her, I do. I've waited an awful long time for the day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what I've really waited for is for Colin to find the direct coin, and I'm right glad that he's found Fiona. In all the years I've kept Colin, I can rightly say that I've never known him to be say, say cheery, say relax it in the company of another person, and say very much in love. For folk that didn't care in coffin, Colin, coffin. For folk that didn't care in coffin, Colin, 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 Col
his skills is to take his time to do things his way, his way and to do things right. And that's the way he's going to be getting married. <laughs> Outside of that, he's, that's the way he went about escriving his book about the Doric and about the many languages he can speak, uh, like uh, French and Gaelic and Finnish. And Whoever Finnish is Finnish. There's many things that Colin can do, and I understand that plumbing is one of them. So that is another way that I'm sure that Fiona is the right point for him. But I understand it was Fiona that put the new sink into the flat. <laughs> Colin's changed many ways since he met Fiona. He wasn't much a man for Yuletide, but last Yule, I understand there were six or seven crisp Yule trees in the flat. <laughs> and now this is, is doing to Fiona. In, it's a forest. A forest, a forest. In the short time I've kept Fiona, I've learned she's an awfully outgoing lass, half a friendly, and somebody who would do anything for anyone if, they could, if she could do it. She loves a laugh, and she loves a pair too, and she always has. And a friend told me that when she was a wee lassie, she used to hear the best pear in the brook. <laughs> and the best bit of the pear was when Abdi would sing Mr. Postman by the Carpenters. <laughs> so you did add all the words for later on, right? <laughs> I say a puckle words or thanks to Colin. Thank you for asking me, uh, Norma, Anthony and Alex to share this special day with you. And I want to wish you good luck and many, many happy years and nothing but the best in the years ahead. Mind you to always love each other, always respect each other and always be there for each other. And remember the words of the poet Ogden Nash for said, to keep your marriage brimming with love in the wedding cup. When you're wrong, admit it. And when you're right, shut up. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I can't freaking need to follow that. <laughs> so I'll just hug my tongue. Yeah, I can fire a lady and fire a gentleman. And Faz alone, Faz a queen, Faz a lad, Faz a lass. So I'll just call upon my favourite preacher, Robbie Stephen, to say the grace and then we can fold our bellies. <laughs> Thank you very much. Some have read and gone ahead, and some would eat but worth it. But we have it and we can eat and say the Lord be thanked. Amen. So folks, we're going to kick off tonight with uh, your, your number uh, that was actually chosen by the uh, wedding group. And then uh, after that we'll, uh, we'll open up to another song if we want to stay up, that's interactive, but you can join in as well. Is that okay? But we'll open up with one first of all. We'll some people knocking on in the bar first, we'll let them uh, walk in first of all. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Have a great evening, will you do that? Yeah, uh, professional cameraman now. Oh, oh, oh. 
Thank you, special party.
your music. Well done, dancers. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. I'd like to wish Colin and Fiona James all the best for their future and may they have a long and happy life. Congratulations from Peter the Guitar Man. Colin and Fiona, I would just like to wish you all the very best to all thing in your future happiness as Mr and Mrs Wilson. Congratulations Colin and Fiona. I hope you have a great life together. And enjoy, enjoy yourself. Cheers. Cheers. Hello, Fiona and Colin. I'd just like to congratulate you from myself and the rest of the family. All the very best. Thank you. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Colin. It's Bob here from Cushy. Hope you're going to have a great night. And I've got a good feeling about this. I think it's going to last. I do. I think it's going to last. I'd just like to wish you all the best for the future. Cheers. May the roof of your house never fall in, and the empires in it never fall out. Congratulations to you, and may your life be what it was meant to be. And I'll say the same. From the staff of Other Arms, congratulations. It's just me. <laughs> Wishing you all the very best. You deserve it, both of you. Um, well done. Health, wealth, happiness. All the best. Congratulations, Fiona. And we hope you have a long and happy life together. Paul and Fiona, it's been a great day, a great wedding. I hope it's great for the rest of your days together. Hi, big sis. It's me. <laughs> Wishing you all the best. Many happy years together. Love you. 
Uh, hi, Uncle Colin and Fiona. Um, congratulations on your wedding day. It's uh, very good to be here. I had uh, it was a pleasure being your usher, and uh, it's good to have an aunt after uh, quite a, a while. It's good to have an aunt, Fiona, and uh, Uncle Colin. Congratulations, Colin and Fiona. It was a lovely ceremony, and uh, all the best for the future. Wishing you all the very best in the years to come. Congratulations, Colin and Fiona, and uh, hope you have many more hobbies. Okay, hi Colin and Fiona, I really just wanted to wish you really all the best for all the years ahead. I know you love each other very much and I'm sure you're going to have a great life together. So thanks for today and all the best to you for whatever comes in the future. Thanks very much. Colin and Fiona, this has been a lovely day. We've enjoyed it completely and we really feel and wish that you will be as happy together as Dad and I have been over the last 50 odd years. Colin and Fiona, I would like to raise my glass and wish you all the very best. Long may your lum rake, where their folks go. Oh, cheers. <laughs> oh. Colin, congratulations. You never thought you would actually get there, but you did it in the end, so well done. Mm -hmm. Cheers, Colin and FG, all the best. Hi, Colin and Fiona, all the best, the years to come. Take care. Um, Yes, I'm quite convinced that you've made a good decision and that you'll be uh, live happily for a long time together and uh, we hope you're as good as we are. All the best! <laughs> Congratulations Colin and Fiona, I'm from Portia Photographic Services. Wish you the best for the future and hope you have a lovely day and we look forward to seeing your photographs. Hope you have a long and happy married life. From Steph, it's been a pleasure being your bridesmaid and congratulations. Hi, I'm Charlie from Cushy and I play guitar and I'd like to wish you all the best for your marriage. Hi, I'm Angela from Cushy and I'd like to wish you the best for your marriage also. I hope you have a lovely time together. All the best to you and James and Colin for your future happiness. And may the same Blanca day cover the bear of you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and Fiona are the best for the future and many happy life years together. You shouldn't have done it, you were happy the way you were.